Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on Sunshine Coast in Queensland. I am painting on a 60 by 30 uh, canvas and I just did some colours on another large canvas that I just love, love, love the colours. So I just wanted to try a different technique but the same colours. So. Um, I'm going to do this split pour, I'm going to split my canvas um, colours in two and off on my merry way I go. I hope the um, New Year you celebrated or you enjoyed whatever you did for New Year's. Um, we always have a quiet one, it's actually uh, New Year's Eve today so this video may not go out for a week or two weeks, who knows. I'll try to um, when I've got time and it's quiet, I try and do my videos and get them all edited and ready, scheduled to go on my channel. So that's what I'm trying to do today. It's um, get ahead of myself so I can have a bit, then I can have a bit of a break from actual painting. I could anyway, any time, there's nothing stopping me, except I do like to get into the studio because I enjoy it. But the other thing is, um, I have my granddaughter coming up, so I really want to spend some time with her. Now, where am I going with this? What colour? So I've just done the white on there, and I'm thinking, should I completely go a contrasting colour? And um, I think I'm gonna go a blue. So I've got some, um, cy uh, is it called cyan blue here? So I think I'm going to use this cyan blue, C-Y-A-N, cyan I think it's called. So I'm going to do the two, oh, two colours. My dog is making noises here because she knows it's almost her dinner time and she's um, letting me know about it. But it's not quite rosy, your um, clock is not completely correct because it's not quite that time rosy. Blue on a white side. I'm not going to worry about my edges too much at this moment in time. Rosie, can you cut it out? Rightio. So these are the colours that I put down. So I had a bit of. Um, this is a very, very, very delicious. It's a very dark black cherry. So I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Rose is making some weird sounds here. <laughs> You're gonna stop it, Rose of the Pose. Rosy Posey. This restaurant is not open yet. It's closed for a few more minutes so hold your fossils radio I'm going to just put some more white in there so doing the wiggles actually I think I want a bigger band there you go and then I'm going to add some of this orange in here turquoise left so I use this bit of turquoise in here I did forget to do something I was actually going to swipe over the two colours but never mind what are you doing you cheeky girl Get in there and help yourself, wouldn't you? If you could. Um, so, what did I use? I used that, that white. I think that was it. Now, 
I'm going to just this is a bit of Amsterdam black with just flow troll that gives me lovely cells so I'm going to put that down the centre Rosie you're cheeky she's just been and attacked my um, uh, vacuum cleaner Pittman. She's telling me no, I'm going to play up until you do what I want you to do. But no, Rosie, I'm the boss. <laughs> yeah, right, she said. So, okie doke. Let's see if I can just do. I was going to blow it out with my um, straw, but I'm going to try my baby blower just on a low setting. Lovely. Lovely. That's nice. Now I just want to try and use my little um, soft plastic to do some wispy wipes, swipes out. So it softens the whole piece. Oh, there's cells that have come up because I put that black with the flow troll just helps give some lovely effects. in a bit of little bit of the black flow troll on there and drag through the other colours. Do one all the way up there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Rightio, what I'm gonna do now, you will have guessed, I'm pretty sure. Um, put a bit more heat on there. Sides with my fingers, so it's nothing. So just rubbing your fingers in, it's absolutely allowed. Remember the only rule, there's no rules. So I'm just going to cover the sides of my canvas. If the canvas still shows through when it's dried, you can go over with a sponge brush along your edge of your canvas to cover it. This one's looking as though it is showing through, but as it dries, I'll come along with my um, spatula and it should start to cover up those areas like so. There you go. And that can all be touched up once it's dry too. Not worried about that, we'll make something of that. Hmm. Rightio. My balloon, so the Jilly's balloon, my favourite bit. So we've got quite a few techniques in here. And I definitely could transfer those balloon kisses onto another canvas, which I have done in the previous pour, but I'm not doing that today. I've got puppies that want feeding, so <laughs> They're looking at me. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with my paint today, but it's not obviously a good consistency because it's pretty much falling in. So maybe I'll try to use up some different um, pouring medium that's, I cannot think of it now. Yeah, I tried to make all these paints up and be clever putting them in my containers, but Obviously, it's not quite, but that's all right. Nothing you can't fix or scrape, so <laughs> all good. If I'm going to use the little teeny tiny blue, I'm going to kiss that in the very center of the, the bigger kisses that I just did. 
it just gives a really nice effect but my balloon kisses like the other piece that I just did are not turning out so well so it's definitely to do with my paint consistency today so I've done something when I've been mixing these paints that I don't normally do because this is obviously too thin for a good result with the balloon kisses so if you're having trouble with balloon kisses that can definitely be the problem is the paint consistency Rosie you're acting like a spoiled child yes dinner in five five minutes <laughs> Hey, these dogs take over your life. It, the kids have all left home now, and now it's the dogs that are um, rulers of the... Well, they think they are. Well, I think that's quite lovely. I'm happy with that. I'm happy, Jen. I'm going to let that dry and see how it dries off. And if I need to do any little adjustments anywhere, then I certainly will. So I hope you like that. It's very nice having the two different um, split compositions. Sorry about my puppy, but that is life and I can't do much about it. So I hope you like that one and I'll just um, finish my edges off and, and leave it to dry. Enjoy the photos at the end and um, let me know whether you like that one. Please be back tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's absolutely free and it helps me out. So appreciate you all so much. Happy New Year and till tomorrow. Bye for now.